What did you think the very first time you met your wife? You want to, to really honestly, this is what I thought. I thought she was like drop dead gorgeous and I was, I was like, Lord, I am way marrying out my league. I was like, and I'm thankful for that too because my goodness, look at this beauty, right? She's gorgeous. I'm yes. telling you what. I feel like I'm hit like a log bug or something. <laughs> and what does it feel like to be hit by a love bug? I feel like a top in a whale. And it's like, like, wow. It's totally wow. And I was like, thank you, God. I feel like I want to cry. We've even tested it, like our love. We put e e our hands on each other's heart. And no joke, it's beating fast, but it's beating the same pace. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Welcome to SBSK. We believe that everybody has a story that's worthy of being heard. When we listen to one another, the world becomes a closer place and we all benefit together. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. How do you feel when you hear Jason talk about you? Peaceful, really peaceful. And um, I feel like I have no stress on my shoulders. And I feel like, I feel like I don't wanna cry. Like, I really love Jason. Definitely, in my heart. I pour my heart out too. I hope one day, when we grow old, whether it, however old we are, whether it be 80 or 90, um, I hope, you know, I die in the bed with her, like in my sleep and hold hands. That is how I wish to go out. Why? Because it's peaceful. He's so crazy about me. I'm telling you what. And he always being silly sometimes, <laughs> but he likes to be serious. Mm -hmm. I and know how to cut it off like most men do. <laughs> and then I'm trying to help Jason too to be MA mm -hmm. and like a dog. Do you have a diagnosis? I do, I have autism, I have ADD, that's the adult one, and then I have um, bipolar, but I don't get mad anymore because you know I work through that. And um, so I really like my autism and my ADHD because it, it makes me who I am. I love Jason and um, he is my favorite man and I will take care of him. People with autism, they wanna feel important, they wanna feel needed is what I'm trying to say. Does Chloe make you feel important and need it? All the time. How do you feel when your wife compliments you? Special. Like how? And like warm feeling in my heart and my heart beats really fast. It's like, not like I'm having a heart attack. No, it's like love. It's like the love beating fast, you know? Uh, it's, it's just, actually to be honest, it's magical. That's how I actually feel. That's the ultimate word I could ever describe it as. <laughs> well, I, I love his heart, mm. but sometimes, like, mm. what's the matter mm. with you? And, yeah, I mean, there's the ups and downs. And, and I'm telling you, Chloe is such a, a, a perfect wife. And, she, like, like I, always talks to and, me, and, and, like, even when I'm so down, she yeah, lifts me and, right back up and made me but, so happy. I think he needs a lot of love, and just to get his calm down a little bit, it, Take a rest, close your eyes, listen to the spa music, and just breathe in. I teach him how to stop. Mm -hmm. and, she really helped me to actually mature. So, yeah. If you could change one thing about Chloe, what would you change? Nothing. <laughs> I love her just the way she is. Honest to God, I do. But if I had to, I would just, uh, wouldn't mind if she dyed her hair blonde. She looks so cute. Was he shy when you first met him? Yes. Yeah, and um. Because I used to not know and, how to talk um, to girls. His face mm -hmm. is so clean. I was actually a little shy to ask her to be my girlfriend. I had to ask my best friend Josh Wells to ask her for me because I was so nervous. Why were you nervous? Because back in those days, I didn't know how to talk to girls. <laughs> Sometimes I think in my mind, like, I want babies that are bad. Mm -hmm. and, and then I listened to my heart, and mm -hmm. he said, Well, Chloe, um, 
You gotta wait a little bit longer. How would you describe the level of independence you and Chloe have together? You know how a hospital, they have a, a pain challenge from one to 10? I'd say we're about eight or a nine. We still got a few ways to go to get fully there, but we're pretty much independent. We just got a few more ways to, you know, you always have time to mature, you know. Who is this? Uh, this one. It's Giselle. This is uh, Giselle. It's our baby. But I want to treat her like a real baby. Mm -hmm. It represents what we want for the future. And this is what I really want for the future. Mm -hmm. Do you two sometimes get upset that you don't have a baby? We don't much as nearly get upset. We just kind of miss it, you know, kind of get sad. She's so pretty. But this is a blessing because if you, would you like to hold her? Sure. She actually feels so warm with the weights. It, it, she feels real. It would give you such an amazing feeling like a real baby. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Would you mind describing a few of the things you still need a little help with? Yeah, kind of like, you know, um, budgeting. Well, I know how to budget, but like, there's, you gotta learn more. I mean, you know, to like budget, to um, look for, I mean, I know how to look for lower prices, but you know, just, Work on that. Do you talk to Giselle? Yeah. Oh um, man, like we would yeah. our real daughter. Yes. I, I do. Oh yes. What do you tell her? Oh, like, well, we sing her lullabies at night. You know, she's our real baby. What were you thinking when you proposed to your wife? I was excited. I was nervous in a sense. I was overwhelmed with happiness and all those together. But I sang to her song. He bowed his knees and um, opened the, a box of my, my engagement ring right here. The song is um, Hugs and Kisses, and I wrote it for Chloe because I wanted to pour out my heart to her to let her know how much I loved her. Chloe, you're dear to my heart. Chloe, I knew it from the start. She's like Wonder Woman to me. She's got that perfect body. She's got that beautiful looks. Seriously. Oh, you're the only one for me. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love you. <sighs> I'm telling you what, uh, kissing's fun. Sometimes he called me sweetie, like, hi, sweetie. And um, he always do that all the time. Every night before we go to bed, we kiss at night. And we um, we're close our eyes, but we're like cuddling. And we'll kiss each other good night. And it's just fun. Getting to like, just go to bed with her and just have somebody there to hold. And to wake up and kiss good morning. is just a blessing in itself. Every time he thinks about me, it's mm -hmm. just a, uh, um, like, and I was like, like, Jason, what are you looking at me for? And I was like, uh, nothing. <laughs> and like, like, tell me. And he said, nothing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, do you want a tickling? And like, like, Tickles. no. No. Like, ah. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, here we have one. She tickles. Kiss. To where I can't breathe, and it's fun. I love it. It's yeah. just uh, like you know. And then after, it's like, <gasps> she goes getting like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny. I love this. I love this house. And sometimes I will say, "Thank you, God, for this house. Thank you, God, for everything. I have positive things. I can cook. Mm -hmm. So I'm a married woman, and I can cook." Um, I can make black beans and rice and oh, salad. Oh yes, that's good. And I can make spaghetti mm -hmm. or meatballs. I can make hamburgers, mm -hmm. some salad, everything, or french fries, something like that. She's so good. She actually yeah. fattened me up for a while. And yeah. then I decided to like get buff for her. So I would start on my bike, you know, get my leg muscles buffed up. If you could say one message Chloe will always remember, what would it be? That I'll always love you no matter what happens and that you're magical, you're 
you're so beyond caring in a good way. You love, I mean, you always take care of me. Where do you think you'll be when you're both 60? <laughs> uh, probably still together. <laughs> probably still together. <laughs> I'll probably, you know, how to, you know, but Clover, uh, how about your little kid? Uh, not my kid. And like, uh, may I have a hug then? <laughs> See? Will you still love him? <laughs> yeah. There's uh, no doubt about it. Well, I still love him, mm -hmm. but um, mm -hmm. I like his um acting. But she likes my acting. She is my princess. She is my best friend. She's my wife, and she's the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I just love her, like yeah. leaning into me, and just holding her. And like right now, every single time, it it makes me calm. It just feels. You hear it? You hear that little buzz in the house? That's the piece. This is the most part, best part about marriage for me. It's just holding her. Not talking, just thinking and just listening. Hmm. Love you, baby. Love you, baby. My precious. Thanks for watching SBSK. Click subscribe here to be part of our community. Then hit the notification bell below so you never miss a story. You can even meet another friend here. See you next time.